Hello plan community, thanks for tuning into this channel. If you're new here guys, welcome. My name is Pam and today is more of a spare in a moment video for you guys. So I was actually um, going to do some shopping, I'm looking for some planters and I decided to go to uh, my Ace hardware store. Uh, for the most part, if I do buy plants, you guys that have been watching me some time, you know that the majority of my plants I buy online. But the majority of the plants that I do happen to come across, um, typically I've gotten them from Ace. And you can find some rare finds there and um, just more better of a plant selection, in my personal opinion, outside of the regular big box stores, at least in my area. So I decided to bring you guys along with and kind of just take you around so you can actually just see, um, I guess, the, the plants that they do have. And then at the end, if I decide to buy anything, I'll just give y'all guys a show. But I wanted to bring you guys along and you can let me know what you think.
Okay guys, so as you've just seen, they have some variety of plants there. Like I said, I think it's more variety than what I'm experiencing um, in my local big box stores. Um, you know, you can go there and you can find rare finds there. Um, I believe one week before or so, or a couple of weeks back, they had some pink princesses there that wasn't too pricey. Um, the juvenile form, um, as you've seen, they had some fuzzy petioles um, and some very nice um, crimson queen um, hoyas there, um, and just a variety of things. Um, and I really love going there because the staff is always nice. And like I said, um, the first time I've actually seen any type of plant uh, up in person would be there, if not from pictures from online. So um, my number one goal for you guys was to, like I said, I was looking for particular um, planters because they do have some nice pots there. Um, but of course, I couldn't walk away there completely without the uh, one of the plants. And um, you probably may know the one that I've gotten. And it's this baby right here. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. And I think this is the Skin Dapsis Silver Splash. At first I thought it was the Exotica. Now I do have a small, you know, I have an Exotica and I do have a small um, Silver Splash. And I was just looking when I got home, I did some comparison and this one looks more like the Silver Splash. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I don't think it's the Exotica. But I just, guys, it was the last one they had. And look at the, I mean it was $19.99. I couldn't believe it. This is the first time I've ever even seen any form of a Skin Dapsis. Um, outside of the um, sterling silver one in person without me having to purchase it online so look at it I just it was calling my name you guys and I <laughs> I just could not say no and, uh, and sometimes it's been a lot of times you guys where I do maintain some form of self-control and I wind up saying you know I don't need this plant or I already have a small um, specimen of this plant let me leave it to somebody else and then I wind up getting home and it plagues my mind and then I regret the fact that I left it behind and of course the next time you go there it's gone because someone snatched it up because it's a great deal nice size and I just couldn't leave this one behind because it's stunningly beautiful oh my gosh and I mean I just can't get enough of the skin dabs since I love all of them all the ones I have in my collection there's a couple more that I wouldn't mind adding to my collection but I mean I just can't deny it you guys and like I said I can't beat the price because at one point in time like especially with the silver splash and the exotica too it was pretty pricey at one point so to get it down to a reasonable price point um, I can't deny it but isn't it beautiful but that's the only plant that I got I did happen to get two small planters that I wanted to share with you as well um, this one right here I have a particular plant that I want to put in here um, and I just like it because it's white with the silver tones and it's like a glittery um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if the camera itself is picking up on that it's like a little glittery shimmer part and it's so it has a drainage hole and it's so um, dainty and I do have a couple of um, I guess two inch planters plants that I can actually easily put in here but I really love it um, I like the aesthetics of it now my next one is kind of the one that I really wanted. I really wish that they had this particular pot in multiple colors, but I grabbed what I could find. And it's this little, cute little, I guess it's a four inch cauldron, I guess like pot. Um, and it has, and it does have some form of a drainage along the side. So the good part, and it's not glazed in the inside. I love these pots because like I said, you can water it. It will drain out. All you have to do is just pour, you know, pour the water out from the side very convenient I just love the pot it's just cute um, I have one actually in my home um, where I have my white princess in and it's doing fine it, the color is kind of like a I guess a red maybe a blood red but this one is blue it just so happened to be blue is my favorite color so I said, you know what, and this was the only one that they had, I said, okay, I'm going to take this one home. And I can't wait. I just usually, I'm going to find a plant to put in here. Um, sometimes I just buy a bunch of pots and I just go with uh, what feels good to me. So I don't really have a particular style or aesthetics 
um, when it comes to how I design my um, pots. Some of them I leave bare in the nursery pots, which I am thinking about actually coming up with a creative way to um, deal with just the nursery pots hanging. Um, yeah, but yeah. But anyway, um, y'all let me know what you think. I just got these two pots in this beautiful skin dances. Um, and just let me know um, if you saw any of the plants that was in the video, which ones that you may have gotten um, or any ones that you may have liked. Um, like I said, the majority of the plants that they did have there um, may be common to most people, but it's very uncommon for me to see face to face. Like I said, my Lowe's and um, Home Depot. Although once in a blue moon you can find some great finds, but traditionally when I go there, um, I'm not really finding a whole lot of variety or at least something that I'm looking for to add to my collection. So I just wanted to bring you guys along. So keep in mind, you guys, if you love foliage as much as I do and you love listening to planty things, then definitely subscribe here. Give me a big thumbs up. I appreciate any support you guys can give me. Um, enjoy your day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, guys, much love. And I got to say, you guys, if you saw this plant, I bet it wouldn't have been too many of y'all that could have shook your head and said no to this deal. Beautiful, isn't it?